Hey, what's up everyone? Before we get into the sound of the horn, I need to go over a couple of things. The first thing is, for those who know about cars, you'll know that back in the day you used to be able to adjust the pitch of your horn. You'd be able to remove it from the vehicle and there's a screw in the back of it and you could adjust the pitch higher or lower to get the sound you want. Well nowadays it's not really the case. Manufacturers have disabled that. They either remove the screw or they seal the screw. So you can't adjust it. Now the PIA aftermarket horns are adjustable. You can, you'll see in the back of it and you can adjust it and tweak it. Um, don't do it. Do not do it. And even says in the instructions, don't tweak the, the frequency of the horn. And I'll tell you why. You will damage them. It's legit. Um, I, I know because I did it. I I, I tweaked them. I, I was like, let me see if I can get away with, you know, uh, getting maybe a little deeper. And after some tweaking and tweaking, I end up I don't know, going down with the sound that I was comfortable with. It, in, the, in the audio, it does sound a little bit like a Ooga, like a, you know, a little kind of a, like a classic old school car. But in person, it sounded better. Um, so that's what you're gonna hear. You're gonna hear the you're gonna hear the uh, factory horn. And you're gonna hear the Ooga, you know, <laughs> a tweaked horn that I did for the Pia. And then afterwards, you'll hear the Pia, uh, like just right out of the box, untweaked. And um, so. When I ended up tweaking it, um, I got a sound that I thought was okay, better than the factory. But over time, the sound started to dwindle. It, like it got lower and lower and lower. It got so low, like I was just embarrassed to even like honk the horn at all. And someone cut me off, and I couldn't even press it because the horn was so low. So I ended up having to buy a new pair. You know, I owned up to it. You know, I could have easily just repacked them and, and, and brought it back to Amazon and say, hey, look, you know, these are defective, and who would no one would have known anything. You know, but. I didn't, I went up to it, I damaged them, I went against manufacturing recommendations, and so I bought a brand new set, so it only worked out good for them. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so I definitely do recommend swapping out your factory horn with this one. It is a little deeper, and uh, it definitely is louder. And overall, I think it's the best you're going to get, um, besides going with like a train or a ship horn, which I think is, is crazy excessive. I'm looking to get a compressor, I'm not looking to, that's looks, it's too crazy. I'm not looking to piss people off on the highway, or you know, scare shit at people. Um, on the sidewalk, I'm not willing to do that. Uh, so I think this is a great alternative for uh, for the car, and on that, it's basically it. So uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get right into the audio. Um, yeah, that's it.